Hey there, I want to talk about uh, store credit. So we've recently added a different type of store credit system that tracks differently and behaves a little bit more like you'd expect in an accounting system. Um, so I'm going to try and show it off. It, there's a few different places and flows that um, it can use, so this might be a little bit wandering, but um, bear with me. So on the admin screen, under invoices, you've got a payment methods section, and in here, this has been totally redone. We've got a payment type um, that you can attach to a payment method. So you could make a new payment method called like store credit and make the type store credit. It should look like this. There's some different types available here. Um, there's descriptions here if you want to, so you can check out what the different ones do. Once you've got a store credit payment method, um, there's a couple different ways you can give someone store credit. You can, here's my new test customer here, you can go new store credit and this will, oh, uh, I need to register. This will let you um, manually give them a, a credit. This kind of just puts like a balance on their account. Think of that like a, think of the store credit kind of like a gift card balance or something. It's like a, a cash balance in your store. So you can manually just give it to people there from the um, customer details screen. Also doing a refund, if you refund to payment method that's a store credit, it will give them store credit and a customer purchase can pay out as store credit and that will give store credit. These all show up here on the customer details screen under credit balance. So let's do one of these. I'm going to do a um, like a $50 purchase and then sell them something and then I'll make another transaction to like refund them something. So um, new customer purchase. Let's buy a iPhone from them. Um, I need a fake IMEI, so there's one. I'm gonna pay $100. And we're good to go. I'm just gonna pay out. Instead of payment method cash, I'm gonna use my store credit record payment. Cool, this customer, that purchase is done. This customer has a credit balance of $100. Um, so let's make a new invoice for them and we'll sell them something. Maybe we go to their house and do some work or something and it's, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars. Um, so now we've got the credit balance showing here. Also, um, so you can hit apply here and that works. It'll let you say it's a hundred dollars. Do you want to apply a hundred dollars? You can also just go through the take payment flow. This is new. If you select a store credit payment method here, and there is store credit, you can take payment and it'll take you to that same screen we were looking at where you can apply the $100. So let's apply all of it and then um, go back to this invoice and they still owe us a little bit. They still owe us $90. So I'm just going to quick payment <clears throat> to you know complete that. So. Okay, we settled that invoice. It was paid with some store credit of $100 and whatever, cash of the other 90 So that's, you know, how store credit can be used. Um, I'll show you the refund flow too. So if we've got a new invoice um, for maybe another hour of labor and they pay that in cash maybe. Let's hit enter. Um, cool, so that's paid. Now if you refund this, you could give them back store credit. So refund, original quantity one, refund quantity one. Payment method, we're gonna refund. Store credit, I know it says customer purchase here, but um, it's just store credit. So we begin, we finalize. Continue. This person now should be up to $95 store credit. So, um, customer purchases, refunds, and manual here are the ways you can do store credit. Um, and they can come out on that apply screen or um, in the payment page. So, that's all new stuff. Should be hooked into QuickBooks and Zero properly. Let us know how that works for you.